Welcome to this week's first play. This is Kenny bringing you our game of the week, which is a special game because this is self-selected by a director for our upcoming director episode. Um, so not a randomized game, but a, a specifically picked game for us to play for the week. And as you can tell, it is Toy Story 2. Two, I am pretty sure we played the first Toy Story on the podcast. Uh, if I recall, a platformer that was all right, but just kind of short. Um, I don't think I've actually played this one before. I got super hyped during the episode about this game, but mostly because of the IP. Um, I believe, though, that this is platformer but that has gone 3d instead of 2d so we'll see early toy story was just i mean listen to that music if you don't have it in the feels from that you might not have feelers uh, movie viewer interesting memory card options we're gonna just start this game and jump straight in and see what toy story 2 is all about oh look at that all hand-drawn art for the locations uh it looks like we probably have to start in andy's house it's not letting me like move but presumably we can go to like different areas so kind of a little bit of a hub world that's interesting uh we're gonna jump in and see what's waiting for us Feeling woody. Feeling... okay so we're getting full-on movie clips wow All right, so we're just jumping straight in to the story. And we're not in. <laughs> Bye, Woody. And that's the scene, level one, Andy's house. All right, so this is interesting. Yeah, definitely 3D. We're moving all around, and let's see what other things we can do. We can jump. We can shoot things with our lasers, which is awesome. That's got to be an enemy. I don't know how we aim it, though. Uh, oh, we can open our, open our wings. Well, it did it for a second. Okay, got it. Jump, jump, shoot. I don't know what that is. Some kind of power up or temporary like buff. Uh, and then we had one button that opened our wings, but it hasn't done anything else since then. Okay. The oh, interesting. I I come I've, in peace. I've got a first person view. Very weird. Oh, get him. The reflection of your face in the helmet is ridiculous. Oh, okay, so that's a, like a, like a, a second jump. All right, we're gonna have to figure out how to get all through this room. Uh, I'm not sure if I have camera control. It feels like it would be really welcome if I did. All right, we're up on stuff. No, I don't think I can control the camera here. Uh, that button is some kind of like interface for your HUD. And then almost like a like a scrolling look button. Interesting. Lots to... Oh. I guess I do have some amount of camera control. Okay, let's see what this little item is. 
If you see the push icon, you can run into the object and push it out of the way. Okay, great. Oops. Okay, up on the bed. There we go. Some little tutorials, that's kind of nice. If you press the jump button once and then press it again, you can do an extended jump, use it to get onto the table, and then draw. Boom, got it. Okay, let's come over here. There's another enemy. Uh, can I move forward while I'm doing this? No, I'm just moving around. Okay, so I gotta move a little further forward first if I want to do it like this. Uh, inverse? I think my... I think my controls are inverted when I do that, which is not fun. I'll have to change that setting. Oh, I can climb a pole! That's nifty! It's a kind of cool feature. I bet I'm gonna be able to climb on that guy. All the way across. Let's see. Yeah, teach me about zip lines. Slide down them. Press jump to let go of the line. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, I got some kind of power coin. Okay, you can target your laser by using your visor view. Yeah, we've already figured that out. To swap between visible targets. Okay, so after you're in your view, you can almost like tally through targets. Interesting. Holding. Use it to shoot the catches. Holding it to center. Okay. Oh, yeah, it automatically targets. That's great. No, it's targeting him. Okay, you have to at least be kind of near it. Okay, that should let me get out. Oh, that's much easier than manually firing things. I wonder if that same targeting works while I'm out just running around. Oh, you can power it up! <laughs> Sorry, I'm shooting everything in the world. Okay, looks like... oops. Oh, getting used to that interface is going to be obnoxious. Oh, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. <laughs> he jumped right in my face, freaked me out. Uh, okay, the fact that I still can't move the camera here is a little obnoxious. Um, okay, what else do I need to learn? You can grab onto poles. Well, we kind of already know that. Yeah, we already know that. Okay, I don't know why you're teaching me stuff you've already taught me. Get it, Buzz. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I can knock this down. I think that's what it's saying. Oh, I can just push it. Okay. It's on some kind of track. Oh, so I can get up to that thing. Let's see what this little box says, though, first. If you press the fire button, you can attack with your laser. If you press the spin button, you can attack with your spin attack. Oh, so the spin, that guy, deflects things and then also, like, charges up. So I need to remember I have that as well. Oops. This is not going to be good. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna fall. I feel like just always climb to the top of everything. That is not the answer. Can I get there? No. Oh, do I take fall damage? Okay, I don't, apparently. <laughs> That's <was> scary. <laughs> that was a big fall. Uh-oh. I am Buzz Lightyear. 
Okay. Well, my lasers won't kill him. Even charged up. Maybe I gotta knock him off? No. Shoot him in the back? That's the answer. He's trying to just knock me off. Oh! And I'm just trying to shoot him in the back. There's gotta be a better way to do this. How do you get stunned? Okay, there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ow. Okay, my energy is running low. <laughs> Gotta keep strafing. I'd love a first play where I didn't die. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> okay. No. Oh. Man, he's got some life. I wonder if charging up my laser would hit him faster. No, no, no! Get away! Stay away! Get away! Uh oh. Oh, come on. Well, this is going to be a week. I guess that's not abnormal. No. Come on. Knock yourself out. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. No, don't get me. <laughs> Please don't fall off, Fuzz. You're better than that. You're better than that. No, I thought that... Is it every four? No, I don't know if there's... A, oh, come on. I can't get behind you there. Come on. I'm almost out of juice. I don't know if that means I die or what happens, but it's presumably bad. No. Oh, well, maybe I can shoot him from the front, too. He just has to be, like, chilling? Let's find out, because that'd make things easier. I think he still took damage there. I can't tell. Yeah, 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 you get him. Oh, no, 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 it's close. Come on, just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get him, get him, get him. What in the world? That should have been enough. Come on. Okay, we got him. <laughs> and I got a token. Hey, that sounds like a great place to call that a first little taste of this game. My first token didn't die in a first play. I know, we're making so much progress as humans and as gamers. Um, Toy Story 2, something about Buzz Lightyear to the rescue or something. Uh, we're playing on PlayStation this week. Find a copy. Play along with us because it's a fun director episode. Love to hear what you have to think. Uh, I've got a lot of thoughts already. I'm going to make you wait and hear about them on the episode, though. So thanks so much for giving up a few minutes to see our first taste of the game this week. Have a good one.